Hey guys, it's Alexandria with A Life Full of Glitter and Sparkle Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how to adjust your blade settings and the thickness and speed for your silhouette. So uh, we're just going to start with, see how I have three different colors here? Each color has its own line color as well. So the fill is teal. You come over here to line options. And from there I can choose teal the same color. The pink is pink and the black texts are black. So once you have all your line colors selected um, and changed, you're gonna come over here to cut settings. Now it's most likely gonna be on standard for you, which I'll show you shows that everything is gonna be cut. So you want to come over here to advanced and make sure your line color is selected um, so from here all of this will be checked and see how it is showing the star bolded the lines are a little bit bolded that is showing you actually what is going to be cut so we only want to cut the black so we want to uncheck the teal and the pink you're going to scroll down to what material. So over here on the material, you're going to set the material. So if you want it to be, we'll say cardstock. So say we want the black to be in cardstock. Then we're going to scroll down. Um, and it is showing automatically we want, they want the, the ratchet blade. Now, if you have the, the Cameo 3, you have the Auto Blade. This computer is not attached to my silhouette, so it won't give me the option of the Auto Blade. But say you check your Auto Blade, Ratchet Blade. Um, these little arrows, let me see if I can, right here, you want to actually click on those and that'll change the blade. Now, I have found Cutting it a 10 on cardstock is actually better for me. And then we're going to come down a little bit and you're going to see speed. And speed I usually put down to a 3, but you can change it by typing the number here, by clicking the arrows here, and also by dragging this up and down. You can change the speed of it. Thickness, you could do the exact same. Change it here or just type it in. I actually, with cardstock, do a 33 for thickness. And you can also change it here. Now, they also give you, I have not used the track enhancing, so I'm not going to really show you what that does because I haven't used that. But the double cut with cardstock, anything thick, I always usually double cut. Now with the double cut, what that's going to do is once it cuts the star over here, once it's done with the shape, it's actually going to cut it again without you loading the mat again. And then uh, you're just going to go back up and come over here to send the silhouette. Again, my silhouette is not attached to this computer, so it won't. It won't show that it's there and then you just send it to the silhouette so that is how you kind of do and then once that's cut you unload it load your pink in and cut your pink you know and you just kind of click through once you've done cut cutting your pink you uncheck it and then cut your teal and then you can just cut your teal and that kind of will help you so not everything is black so yeah, that is how you change your blade settings. And if you guys have any other questions, just leave them down in the comments. Please subscribe. I'm always posting new videos. I also want to hear back from you what videos you want to see. And yeah, you can also leave them in the comments what you want to see. Or you can email me at a life full of glitter at gmail.com. All right, we will talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye-bye.